imagine a future race advanced technology so far to a point that where electronics looks like water so if water can conduct electricity if water can hold memory if water can change into so many different types of you know solid gas liquid what if water is advanced technology and since our body is kept alive by electricity it conducts the electricity in our body and it holds the code for our dna and knows how to hold like the memory like emotional memory i believe that water plays like a very important role in the amygdala because even if you were to take out the hippocampus the amygdala would still hold memory and i think a large portion of that is due to water so we've talked about ionization plenty of times in several videos as above so below now the micro is a reflection of the macro right electrolytes these are the different forms of electrolytes in the body electrolytes are salts they enter your body through food and they dissolve and they dissolve into like positive and negative charges notice that these electrolytes that dissolve into the charge that your body needs they are the same that you will find when a man releases into a woman to create new life, that new charge. These are also known as ions. They control the flow of water into the cells and nerve impulses in the bodies. So ion channels control the flow of negative and positive charges into the cells and water flows to the side with the most electrolytes. Osmosis. Ionization, ionization, turning a neutral atom into an ion or a charged atom, AKA radiation, knocking electrons out of an atom. So if you have like alpha or beta past the electron, depending on the size, then you would just, the electromagnetic force will pull the electron out of the atom. Like if it's alpha, it has a charge of positive two, the electron has a charge of negative one and it doesn't really have to be that close of its alpha to be able to pull the electron out of the atom now think about salt and cell and water flow just a little fun fact sea salt spray can stop lightning from occurring in an area so i believe the meeting point between the two are the crystals in your pineal gland that connect you to the electromagnetic grid this is how you receive your downloads, your ideas, your thoughts, your stream of consciousness. And you, you have to charge up like standby mode while the screensaver, the dreams play, right? Like your avatar charges up and you enter into another realm, if you will, where the lessons the experiences of the day are played back to you in the forms of code but also divine instruction to where if you were aware enough and you could break down the code that's given to you in dreams and apply it to your waking life then you will start to see how the synchronicity is the autograph of source right it's like um it is the agreement from source to let you know that you are in alignment with your highest calling and it's a loop you charge up you rise up and then you lighten up meaning you lighten your your frequency you have to match the frequency of heaven's gates right but the, the pineal gland is the seat of the soul. So this is where your soul is sitting in the driver's seat while you are driving this, this smart vehicle. Now the term smart is not inherently good or bad, it's how you perceive it. We think that it's bad because in modern day, they use it for 
nefarious reasons. But almost everything is inverted. Think of the symbols that we think of evil today and how they were used in ancient times. I can't say them because this video would be bad. So when you hear I'm the Alpha and Omega, like I hear I'm the Alpha, like the Alpha that's pulling that electron. And it's no coincidence that in, you know, the Bible, they represent Jesus as a fish. In astrology, the fish is represented by Pisces. Pisces represents a huge body of water. So they were telling you the beginning, the end, the alpha, the omega, everybody comes from and goes to water.